Hello everybody, welcome to another tutorial on this channel. Today we will learn how to make a user interface looks more modern. Um, and for this we will be using the user interface that we created in the last video, which you can find down in the description in case you missed that. There is a link, the first link from the description. Um, and in the previous video I explained how to create the basic um, login user interface, which in this video we will try to make it look more fancy, more modern. So yeah, let's get it started. All right, so what we will try to do is um, customizing this or changing it so that um, it will look more modern. Um, in order to do that, we have to use a different module. Um, so not necessarily TK Inter, but there is this custom TK Inter, which as you can see by default, it has some um, nice looking uh, assets um so we will be using this one for 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 our program um what we need to do actually is to replace um whatever we have with tk inter with whatever custom tk inter offers right so um let's uh quickly look over this so first thing that we have to do is obviously to install um the module uh i already have it installed but if you don't you can go into the console and run this command it will say a requirement already satisfied for me because as i mentioned previously i already have it installed all right in case you just need to have an, it upgraded you can use um this one uh right so we have the documentation which is um directly into github we have all the widgets right here on the right which, which we will be using um just wanted to give uh, a quick look over this example and see what's happening so he's actually importing the custom tk inter um where we can set the appearance mode to be like uh, system we can also have light or dark um system will basically get the system theme that you have right it can be also um dark or light um the default color which is set to blue by default we can also set it to dark blue or even green and from here as you can see it is already starting to look like what we have um uh, but let's do a quick comparison um as you can see our application is not called app but it's called root that's not a problem uh and then he's having custom tk inter that ctk uh in our case we have tk.tk uh and if we replace this for now uh with whatever we have here um but let's import um the module first right because we need it and then just i mean let me quickly go over how um the user interface looks like right now so this is how it looks right now it's not the best right best looking i mean uh, it's doing its job of saving the data um, inside this file uh, but then it looks ugly to be honest <laughs> um, so in order to have this change let's quickly do whatever we did previously so custom tk inter let's quickly replace this with um, whatever this example program is using and then let's quickly run it already um, and as you can see, it already looks different um, because we have a different logo right here, which is not much of a thing. But then, as you can see, this one right here, the top bar, um, it's different. Uh, let me quickly go back uh, to to the previous one. Let, let me do a run again, right? As you can see, it looks this way. But then if we replace this again and run it, you will see that it already looks different and in my opinion it already um looks better right let's see what else we can do right now so let's also import those two um to see if there is any difference in uh, how we have it so let's replace the config i mean let's leave it as it is let's just add it additionally here um i will go with system and i would prefer dark blue to be honest um let's see if there is any change um, so for now it's does it's nothing changed to be honest uh, but if we go with root config and delete that um, you will see that it already looks 
good because we have this dark background right previously we had it uh, white if you remember from the previous um video all right um next uh let's see if we can go over the um, documentation and try to change all the um widgets that we have into custom tk inter so let's quickly go over what else we have here so we have the geometry which is um basically the same right it's geometry yes um we have the title which is um nothing that would um affect the aspect of the program and we can jump directly to the widget so we have labels two of them we have two entries and then we have a button uh, let's start with the label right let's go over the documentation um, let's find in widgets here let's find the label and let's see how this actually uh, works so we have label equal to custom tk inter um, dot c tk label right now for us is tk that label simple as that but if we go over and let's copy this uh let's see if this is that straightforward and then we have the master which is root underscore tk um which in our case it's still root because we have it named root here um then we have the text which is definitely the same for for us and then a font uh which can be or not change let's quickly go over this and as you can see under the arguments obviously we have a lot of arguments you can work with but uh what we have here is the font and the background um we definitely have a font but we i don't see any background for for this so because of that i will be get rid of the background but keep the font um as it is now let's try to run this and see how it looks like so as you can see username it already looks different from from the password right um so let's do this um the same for 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 the for the other label and see if it looks uh if this will look similar so we have to get rid of the background anything else looks the same so let's quickly go over and we have username and password it looks good i mean it looks better than uh, before definitely now we also have two entries and the button so let's go back to the documentation you can play around with this right you can customize it as much as you want uh with width fight um, color radius and so on there are a lot of things you can play with in order to make it as custom as you want uh for me i mean it's enough to show you how it works from here you can uh, add as many arguments as you want so let's go to the entry which is right here and let's see how this works so it is custom tk inter t um, c t k entry um let's do the same thing as we did for the label um and then let's look over what it's needed so it's master um which is root the underscore tk for 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 us it will be um the root let's go master let's use like they do and then the placeholder uh which let's also add the placeholder uh for us as well um let's get rid of the width is there any option to modify the width it is so you, we could keep that but i will remove it just to see how it looks um so in terms of placeholder which is basically the text that it shows before you click on the on the entry uh, itself let's go with um what is this user name and let's run this as you can see it is right here um it looks already awesome uh we can make it wider um not sure if it's needed because it looks quite nice in my opinion and this is the placeholder as you can see before i click on this it shows username right uh, but after i click it it disappears but then if i click away it shows again but if i insert something like uh, button uh it won't disappear anymore because we already have some input there so let's do the same for for the second entry um right so we had to copy this right here and replace with this get rid of the entry um and let's see if we can do this thing with a password as well because we want to have this um 
still available so let's see if we have something that would help us with this it's text color placeholder font state um I'm not seeing anything that would help us with this. Um, let's quickly give a try just as it is, right? Um, let's use the placeholder as well. Um, let's go against the width, width and let's say password. Um, let's run it and see if we get any error. So we, we get the, um, the widget, right? Uh, let's try to write button and in here button. It still works, right? So it's, it works the same. Even if here I don't see show actually. Uh, let me see if it works. I mean, it is. And the following arguments of TK Interclass. So um, a part of those, you also have some 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 of them that are um, pulled from the TK Inter, the official TK Inter uh, class. So as you can see, show is also available here. I haven't seen it at first. But yeah, um, this is how it looks right now. I mean, for me, it already looks better, right? Um, there is one more thing which we can change is this um, button. So let's go over the button and look what we can do here. Um, right now, the button uh, for us is TK Internet button. Uh, for them, it is, as expected, custom TK Inter uh, CTK button. Um, let's replace that with whatever we have here. Um, right, again, we have master, which is indeed the root. Um, we have the text, which is a string. That's correct. We need that. Uh, font. Uh, let's see if we have a font here as well. Um, yes, we do. And then we, 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 we made this small firecrack where um, we had an active background and active foreground. Um, let's see if those are still available. Um, hover color and text color. I think hover color should should do the thing, right? Um, let's let's get this. Let's get rid of those two here and try with hover color. Make it light. Oops, like this. Um, let's run this and see what happens. Uh, we get an error. Um, so we get a color name, unknown color name. So it's actually the hover color uh, must be light underscore color um, or single color. I would go with light underscore color, not just light. Um, let's see if this works. It still doesn't work. It's it looks like I really need to give a color, so I will get rid of this. I don't I don't want to spend so much time on um, stuff like this. But then, as you can see, it already has an hover um, animation, right? When you hover it, as you can see, it turns in a darker blue. Um, but then, if you release it, it's a lighter blue. So this is how it looks right now. I mean definitely we can play a lot uh more with this we can add many more things on 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 this here um but i think it already looks better for now um comparing to what we had previously uh and definitely there are a lot of more things that we can add here right um we can even add um let's say um slider progress bar uh we can add many many things as you can see here uh, which are customizable as you can see here it has a lot of arguments um <clears throat> but let's uh let's try to add a slider let's see how this looks like um so we got a slider with master front Let, let's let's do this as it is um let's just to just to see how it looks like we don't need a command for now it's uh, not relevant for us. Um, the root is only root. And then let's do slider that pack. And let's do pad y of 10. Let's run this. And this is how it looks like. Right now, it doesn't do anything, right? But it looks cool. It looks great. Um, you can do this in order to, I don't know, show or display, I mean, hide or show. Um, some things or volume or whatever else you want to do with your application. It's not helpful in, in, in our case as we have a login system, but um, in other cases, it 
can be helpful yeah so we can add more things right here right um you can play around with this you have um the example code you have the attributes and also you have some methods um play around with it let me know if you found anything cool uh, or if you want me to go over um some of the widgets more in details or if you want me to use all of them in a different type of application um let me know down in the comments um and i can go ahead and record one of the videos about um this custom tk inter so yeah that's uh that's pretty much it for uh for today Thank you so much for watching this video if you found this helpful or if you learned something today please drop a like and leave a comment below um with whatever else you would like to see in the future on this channel or if you have any question related to the tk inter or the custom tk inter um and don't forget to subscribe this is gonna help me in the future with uh with this channel so see you next time